Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Civil Engineering videos. Today we are going to discuss that why the beams have the more depth than the width or the breadth of the beam. That why we choose the beams having more depth as compared to the width of the beam. So in this lecture we will be discussing this topic with some examples. So generally when we design the beam, we generally take the rectangular type of beam. Right? We take the rectangular type of beam because the rectangular type of beam are more simple to construct and, uh, and the other property is they have a rapid construction method and they don't require any special type of the uh, form work uh, to uh, produce the uh, rectangular beam on the field. And the other thing is uh, that uh, they also provide the sufficient strength to uh, support the slab load. So that's why the rectangular beam are mostly designed. Uh, you, you may have seen that uh, mostly uh, the beams are designed as rectangular are the T-beams. Now, in rectangular beams, this portion is the width of the beam, right? We represent it by B, and this portion of the beam is known as the depth of the beam represented by D. So we mainly have seen that in the designing, the depth of the beam is generally taken more in comparison to the width of the beam. For example, in this general ratio used in designing is at the depth of the beam to the width of the beam. The general ratio of the width of the depth to the width of the beam is generally taken as 1.5. It is not a standard ratio, but mostly beams are designed according to that ratio. So for example, at the depth is, it means that the depth is 1.5 times into width of the beam. So for example, let's suppose that if you width of uh, the beam width of 12 inches so it means your depth of the beam if you multiply it with the 1.5 so your depth will comes out to be 18 inches similarly if we have width of 18 inches right if a beam having width of 18 inches so a depth will comes out to be if you multiply it with 1.5 27 inches so it means uh, that uh, usually the depth of the beams are more by a 1.5 ratio so, uh, but we don't know that why we have more depth in comparison to the width. The reason is that there is some uh, two main factors in determining the capacity of any beam. The capacity of the beam is generally taken by the EI. These are the two main terms, right? E is the elastic, elastic modulus of elasticity of the beam, material used in the beam, and I is the geometric property where E is constant for a beam, for example, if you are using a reinforced concrete beam, so E will be constant for the steel. But we should play with this geometric property, which is the I, which is the moment of inertia. I is the moment of inertia for the beam, and for the rectangular type of beam, we have the B uh, D Q by 12. This is the moment of inertia formula for the rectangular beam. The width is W, and the height is cube divided by 12. So the capacity of the beam can be increased by, by playing with this term, the moment of inertia. If we are going to increase the moment of inertia, the capacity of our beam will be increased to support more load. Now, this, let's suppose this is constant for the material used in the beam. So now what will we do? We should play with the moment of inertia. So I can see here that the moment of inertia is directly proportional to the width of the beam. And moment of inertia is directly proportional to the depth of the beam but the cubic depth of the beam but the cubic depth of the beam so it means that the a depth has more influence on determining the moment of inertia you can see here there is one power only on the width of the beam and there is three third power on the depth of the beam so it affects the moment of inertia more the reason that why we choose the beams with higher depth is because the depth increases the moment of inertia by three times while the depth in width of the beam increases the moment of inertia by only one times. So for example, if I choose uh, the two uh, width is the two times, so my moment of inertia, if B is two times, so my moment of inertia will increase by two times. If I choose my beam is width of two, so my moment of inertia will be increased by two times. But if I choose the depth is equal to the two times, so my moment of inertia will be increased by 2 power a 2 power 3 it means 8 times now my moment of inertia of the beam will be increased by 8 times so
So this affects the, uh, it affects the moment of inertia and also the capacity of the beam that we have to choose the uh, beams with the more depth in comparison to the width of the beam. Because the capacity of the beam uh, has a direct relation with the moment of inertia, and if we increase the uh, depth of the beam, so we can achieve the higher moment of inertia in comparison to the width of the beam. You can see here uh, that it is, the, uh, it is proportional to the thrice of the depth, while it is proportional only to the uh, single power of the beam. So that's why you should always choose your depth of the beam more than the width. I hope you guys understand our today's lecture and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.